All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the leak that recently occurred out of the firearms dashboard portal here in the state of California. So I'm just gonna read a quick little news article. The California Department of Justice confirmed on Wednesday that the personal information of those who were granted or denied a concealed carry weapons permit was exposed. That information includes names, date of birth, gender, race, driver's license number, addresses, and criminal history of those who were granted or denied a permit from 2011 through 2021. However, social security numbers or any financial information was not exposed, according to the state DOJ. On Wednesday, it was revealed that exposures also extended to assault weapon registry, handgun certified for sale, dealer record of sale, firearm certificate safety, and gun violence restraining order dashboards. So at first initially, all I was hearing was just that it was uh, CCW holders, but apparently it extends to people who were denied or approved anywhere between the years of 2011 and 2021. My local sheriff's department, which is Merced County, posted on their Facebook saying that the DOJ is going to contact people if their information was leaked. So as of right now, I mean, I don't think there's much you can do besides wait for that phone call or by letter, by mail, however it is that they're gonna contact people. Anyways, so yeah, that's just another reason why we shouldn't trust the government with a registry. Um, all this information leaked. I don't know if it was in intentional or a retaliation for the recent uh, Supreme Court rulings. Um, I'm not gonna go to that extent up until there's evidence or, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. You know, I'm not gonna start making rumors or going down that rabbit hole. Anyways, um, I'm not concerned if my address is out there, to be honest, not that I'm saying I'm for it, but if my information was leaked and my um, address is somewhere out there, I'm not concerned. Um, I'm not worried about people coming over and trying to cause harm. I don't know what their intention of that was. Um, if you Google your name, you'd be surprised your address is probably already out there. But yeah, that's BS. The point of this is that we shouldn't be trusting the government with registries that involve our rights, which is exercising the right to bear arms. So yeah, um, as of right now, the update is um, pretty much wait to get contacted. And apparently the DOJ is going to give us guidance on what to do next if your information was leaked. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.